Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic, this time from Lebanon. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson to my Lebanese Arabic students. And look who's here with me. Laiko min fi mai. Laiko in the plural. Laiko min fi mai. Laiko min fi mai. Tango. <laughs> hyper. Hyper means he is hyper. We take the word hyper and we take we change it into Arabic. <laughs> we change it into Arabic and it's because and it and it becomes hyper. Huwe hyper. He is hyper in this moment. That's why we say huwe hyper. Okay. So I am going to tell you something that happened, and we will learn two expressions and we will know which is the scenario we use these two expressions and we will learn one sentence to explain what happened and why we will use these expressions poor tango uh, my my niece and nephew they pushed him from the balcony they're three years old so they didn't know they just maybe thought he's a toy or something and they pushed him from the balcony we were so worried but thank god nothing happened to him so we will say my niece and my nephew pushed tango or the dog from the balcony so how do we say niece and nephew in arabic by the way we don't have the word niece and we don't have the word nephew but the way we say it is the son of my brother or the daughter of my sister that's how we will say it so how do we say nephew we will say ibn son ibn khayye the son of my brother ibn khayye and niece uh, because she's my sister's daughter, I will say Bint Ukhte. Bint is daughter, Ukht means sister, Ukhte means my sister. So Ibn Khayye u Bint Ukhte Dafasho. Dafasho means they pushed Dafasho Tango or Dafasho El Kalib, which I pronounce Dafasho El Kalib. They pushed the dog Dafasho El Kalib Min El Balcon Min from el balcon balcon we use the word balcon for uh, for balcony the word for balcony in arabic is shurfa uh, okay so the word balcony in arabic is shurfa but really nobody uses the word shurfa in lebanon when we are speaking the spoken arabic language so we use the french word balcon so bint ukhte wu Ibn Khayye, I'm just saying wu, I'm exaggerating here, but I just have to say Bint Ukhtiw Ibn Khayye with the liaison. Bint Ukhtiw Ibn Khayye, Dafasho Tango, they pushed Tango, Dafasho Tango, Min al Balkon. So we have to say to Tango now a very, very important expression because nothing happened to him. We say Allah Satar, Allah Satar. It's literally you are saying God, Allah, satar, like covered or protected. It's a way to say, thank God, nothing bad happened from an accident or something. For example, if God forbid I have a car accident and nothing happened and it was a very big, big car accident, we can say Allah satar, which means God protected me in this case but we just say god protected it can be god protected us or god protected you or me we don't specify in this case so in this case tango fell from the balcony and nothing happened to him so we can say allah satar which means thank god nothing happened now we use the same expression in the present form so we can say sometimes allah yustur allah yustur it's a way to say may god protect us when do we use this expression when something is happening and it's not a stable situation or when something is unpredictable or when something not so right is happening or maybe scary we say allah yustur um for example if I hear a noise outside that is a bit scary or maybe I heard the, a gunshot or something, I say Allah yustur, which means I hope something bad won't happen and may God protect, which means may God protect us or may God protect you or may God protect, protect him. We use the expression Allah yustur if it's in the present form. So in this case, I'm not using the present form, I'm using the past form. Allah satar, God protected, nothing happened to him. So now all of us, we can say to Tango, Alhamdulillah, as 
Alhamdulillah. Other Arabic countries pronounce it Alhamdulillah. But in Lebanon, we pronounce it Alhamdulillah. Exactly like this. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu. We write it Al-Salami, but we pronounce it Assalami. Alhamdulillah. Assalami. Alhamdulillah. Assalami. Tango. So when do we use this expression? When something happens, maybe somebody had a car accident, or maybe they were sick and they recovered, or in this case, Tango fell from the balcony and nothing happened to him. I can say to him Alhamdulillah. Assalami, which means thank God for the health, which means thank God nothing happened. Alhamdulillah um, salami. Also, we can use this ex expression when, for example, I just came to Lebanon and people just saw me, my parents, my family, they said like, you're wel welcome back or something like that. They say, Alhamdulillah salami. It's a way to say, thank God your flight was safe and your home safe. Alhamdulillah salami. Alhamdulillah. We also use this expression, for example, if somebody is in the hospital and they came out, you can say Alhamdulillah Not necessarily in the hospital. If they were sick and they recovered, you say Alhamdulillah We don't have a feminine masculine version of this because you're not talking to the person. You're just saying thank God for the health. Alhamdulillah You can use it to more than one person, you can use it to, to a group of people, you can use it to one person, uh, masculine, feminine, it's the same. And the reply to this expression, Alhamdulillah is Allah yisalmak, Allah yisalmak, if it's a guy, Allah yisalmik, if it's a girl, and Allah yisalimkun, if it's plural. Usually it's Allah yisalmak or Allah yisalmik. So if a guy tells you, Alhamdulillah you're talking to a guy, you're responding to a guy, you will say Allah yisalmak. And if you're responding to a woman, you're gonna say Allah yisalmik. So Alhamdulillah as-salami tango. And if he could talk, he would say Allah yisalmik because I'm the one who's saying it to him and I'm a woman. Okay, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon in a new lesson. Yalla, bye. Bye, Tango. Ool, bye. Say bye. Ool, bye. Bye. See you. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also, follow me on Instagram at Globetrot with Arabic. The same on Facebook at Globetrot with Arabic. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. I will reply as fast as I can. Thank you. Shukran. Yalla, bye. Pshufkun. Pshufkun means I see you all soon. Pshufkun. Bye.